Could you clarify rapid recovery versus eating all raw versus hyper nourishing with some whole food plant-based cooked foods? Yes, fabulous question. What we teach, so if you guys have gone to my classes or you read Goodbye Lupus, you've learned about uh, hypernourishing. What hypernourishing is, so my husband and I coined that word, which I'm actually happy now is all over the internet. People are talking about hypernourishing themselves. I think some of them don't even know where the word came from. So we coined that word to describe the process that we created, where we are oversupplying the body with the nutrients that the body uses most to repair itself. Right? So we know that the most nutrient dense foods that you can eat in terms of delivering the highest amount of micronutrients, the vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, uh, phytoenzymes, all of those things that you need the most, uh, that the highest source of that's going to come from raw cruciferous vegetables and leafy greens. So we want to get as much of that into your body as possible, right? Uh, we, and we want it to be more than your body would typically use just to function on a daily basis. We want it to be enough left over to not only have an optimal day, but to repair old damage. Omega-3 fatty acids accelerate your body's ability to heal by making your cells more responsive, uh, allowing your cells to eliminate toxins and pull in the nutrients that they need effectively, and they create the anti-inflammatory immune system. If we deliver large amounts of omega-3s, then we can accelerate the body's ability to heal and for the inflammation to go away. We know that water is involved in all the chemical reactions that take place to eliminate disease. And we know that if you're just having 64 ounces a day, which most people have less than that, but even if you have 64 ounces of water a day, that is the FDA recommendations for enough water for that day to function well for that day. But what about people who are severely dehydrated, who have dehydrated joints where the padding, it doesn't have water in it, or they have, you know, all of these organ systems that are not functioning properly. We need more water than that in order to optimize the healing process. So we created the term hypernourishment to mean that we are de delivering higher amounts of all of those types of nutrients to the body to accelerate the healing process. That's why uh, people who are on my hypernourishment protocol, my rapid recovery protocol, get their health back completely and more rapidly than on any other program, right? I mean, it, it, those of you who've been following me a long time or enough time can, can see that, right? That oftentimes when people go on a plant-based diet that's mostly cooked, they tell you in six months to a year, you should be significantly feeling better versus people who do my rapid recovery program who are four to six weeks better, most of their symptoms are gone, right? That's a, that's, that's dramatic, right? So that's why. So hypernourishment is simply the, the extremely high level of delivery of those foods. And I give you all the minimums of what it takes to actually qualify as, as hypernourishment in my classes and in my book, right? So I, I don't have to get into detail of that here. Now, um, you can hypernourish while eating other foods if you've got a big enough belly. Right. So if you're delivering all those nour nourishment, you're getting all the water in, you're getting all your greens and maybe you're drinking lots of smoothies. Right. My, my recipe for the smoothies where you get maximal greens in and omega threes. If you're doing that and then you still have room in your belly and you want to eat some cooked foods, you are hyper nourishing while on a whole food plant based diet. Right. There are people who hyper nourish who are not on a plant based diet. You know, maybe they joined our smoothie shred community and they've added the smoothies to their diet, but they're still eating other foods. So they're hyper nourishing while still eating inflammatory foods. So hyper nourishing specifically refers to that high level of delivery of the healing nutrients. OK, so you can do that in any context, eating any other foods. Rapid recovery is the name of our program that we do where we make sure that everything you eat and everything about your lifestyle is conducive to optimizing your recovery speed to the fastest possible rate. Usually people have to do rapid recovery with help because it's difficult to do. So that's why, I mean, the reason I invented my programs, like my four rapid recovery one-on-one -on -one, where you have unlimited access to my cell phone or the six-week rapid recovery group came from my experience with people that I would see them for one-on-one -on -one consultations, but they would fall off the wagon on their own or they couldn't maintain it or they had a bad day and didn't know how to problem solve around it. So I was like, okay, I know if I, if I work with someone every single day, I can make sure that they get it right. 
right? Because just imagine every day you have to report to me uh, what you ate, how you slept, what your stress is, all that stuff. If you report to me every day and you listen to me, I'm going to change your life in a matter of days, okay? So rapid recovery, I look at one, make sure you get the nutrition right. A lot of people tell me they're doing it. And then when I meet with them or they join my group, they weren't doing it. They thought they were, but they weren't doing it correctly. Okay. So one, we make sure you do it correctly. Two, we optimize it. So as soon as you get it down, we challenge you to do more based on your results, right? Based on how you're doing. Three, we handle anything that comes in the way. So sometimes people are having a food sensitivity they didn't even know they had. I'm able to problem solve around that, okay? Sometimes people have reactions. Either they get constipated or they're having diarrhea. Help them problem solve around that. So we work with them every day to make sure they're able to hyper nourish themselves to the max and deal with any issues that come up with the nutrition and optimize it as well. Now, in rapid recovery, you don't eat anything but foods that hypernourish you. So we're only eating the hypernourishing foods, the raw vegetables, the omega-3s, the water intake. And there's many different ways you can do that. And in the group, I help people figure out, like, do they want to focus on smoothies or raw meals or all that kind of stuff? We can work around that. So that's the hypernourish, that's the rapid recovery nutrition. And then in addition to that, on a daily basis, I look at what's your stress level, what's your happiness level, what are the struggles you have? The struggles could be with the eating, the struggles could be with dealing with family drama or work, struggles could be around sleep. Um, so what we do is we help with every aspect of people's lives. And literally in our rapid recovery group, we have helped people with uh, marriage, like we've done coaching for their relationships to help them solve their marriage problems. We've helped people solve issues uh, with their parents. Uh, we've helped people solve their traumas around rape and incest and all sorts of horrible things. I mean, it is, we do a deep dive into people's lives. And when people open up to us and let us in, we help them solve all the reasons they're sick, not just their diet. So rapid recovery really refers to a complete overhaul in your lifestyle where you have the perfect optimal nutrition to get you healthy as fast as possible. And we deal with the emotional triggers to your disease because people with depression, anxiety, stress, trauma, all have higher rates of autoimmune disease. We have to deal with those to get people healthy as fast as possible, sleep, etc. So that's what rapid recovery is. That's why I always argue whenever somebody says like on a q and A, I've been doing rapid recovery for, you know, this many months and I'm still having struggles. You're not on rapid recovery just because you're eating raw food. And the other question was raw food. Well, raw food could be anything, right? There's people who are on raw food diets who eat only fruit. Uh, there's people on raw food diets who don't eat any omega-3s, barely any greens. There's people on raw food diets who eat five pounds of nuts a day. So a raw diet, while it has the potential to deliver maximal nutrition, it doesn't necessarily if you don't do it right. And I, I had somebody come to me who was a raw chef who used to teach classes and she had autoimmune disease and she came to me for help so that I could optimize her diet and show her how to do it correctly for disease reversal. So I hope that that helps clear that up. Um, I think that's a common uh, confusion point for people. So thanks for asking that.